Today we're going to show you how to use our honeydew starter kit with the gilding flakes. And in the kit you get the box obviously, um, you'll get a stamp cleaner, um, a small glue, palette knife and polishing sponge, a whizzy eraser and refills, some stamping foam and an instruction sheet with our telephone number in case you have any problems. So we'll get started. We have seven colours of gilding flakes and our glue comes in two separate sizes, 50ml and 120ml. This is the stamp range we're going to be using today which is a bottle of vine, it's one of our newer stamps. So, The stamps are polymer and they're self adhesive to acrylic blocks. We sell the acrylic blocks in sets of four, um, we do a square set and a rectangular set. Rectangular sets are ideal for this, that all the elements of the stamp work with it. So you start off, take a piece of your stamping foam and cut it down to size, about an inch and a half by an inch. Put about a teaspoon of our glue onto the sponge, and all our glues are self-cleaning nozzles. So they just twist open, and make sure you wipe the top just to make sure there's no excess glue. Then using your palette knife, spread the glue on into the foam so that no glue sits on the surface. The glue is what we call an open glue, so you need to make sure that anything that comes in contact with this glue gets washed while the glue is still wet. It's water soluble while it's wet, but once it's dry you need a stamp cleaner, so remember to pop your palette knife into the glue, oh sorry, into the water to remove that glue. Once you've got your glue on there, if you pop your sponge onto a non-porous surface, you'll be able to use that all day. You need to stop the air getting to that glue. So then you use it just like a normal ink pad. Lots of little taps all over your stamp. And you want your stamp to look like it's got a really light frost. You're better to do 10 little taps than one hard push because you don't want to get any glue in all the nooks and crannies. Pop your stamp down, one hard push with all your weight behind it and straight off. Pop your stamp into the cold water and that will remove the glue from your stamp. Then you take your stamped image to your box of flakes. This is the evening sunset colour. And you sprinkle your flakes all over the top and remove as much of the excess as you can. You don't have to be particularly delicate with this. Then run your hand over the top just to make sure that they've all stuck. And you take the polishing sponge and if you work into the middle to start with you'll be able to collect the majority of the mess which is the larger bits of gilding flake in the middle of your card and then you can pop that back into the box and save that for another time and then I would just scrub over the top just to get the remaining bits off and that's your finished card. Now in your starter kit you get the Wizzy Eraser which I said I'd show you how to use so I'm now going to ruin what I've just stamped. Um, basically this is used if you make any mistakes or you've over inked your stamp around the edge. This will remove any marks on your card without ripping the card. And it's a battery operated eraser so just by pushing forwards here and it's the speed that this spins round that removes it without marking your card. And that's it.